I'm glad we had uh, a couple of moments there with that video so I could recover from that beautiful worship. Uh, wipe my tears away. Que dice que hermoso fue poder cantar todos juntos a uh, ese momento. Just yesterday I was going through um, some old pictures that I was transferring into my computer. Dice que recientemente ayer estaba mirando unas fotos de uh, viejas de él que estaba tratando de poner en, en su computadora. And some of them I haven't seen in a lot of years because they were stuck in an old computer. Y algunas de esas fotos no no había visto por años porque estaban en otra computadora vieja. So it was fun just to go back through and to see all the different things that and, and places and activities that we've had in our life. Entonces era divertido poder ir y visitar otra vez por las fotos todos los lugares y todas las cosas que habían hecho como familia. And so as we were just singing that song and singing All My Life You Have Been Faithful. Y cuando estábamos recién cantando esa canción que dice que toda toda mi vida tú has sido fiel. I started seeing some of those pictures going through my mind. Él se estaba acordando de algunas de esas fotos que viejas que él había visto ayer. And I can definitely attest to God's faithfulness over the years. Can you? Y yo puedo decirles que puedo que él sí ha sido fiel todos los días de nuestra vida. Okay, so I wasn't planning on saying any of that. No estaba preparado de compartir todo eso. But we are so glad to celebrate together. Pero estamos tan felices de poder celebrar y compartir juntos. Pastors Jose and Patricia, we're so grateful to be in partnership with you. Pastor Jose y Patricia, estamos tan bendecidos de poder tener este compañerismo con ustedes. It's so fun if you ever come in here on a Sunday night and to hear their congregation worshiping and you think we have it loud, you should hear them sometimes. <laughs> Dice que es tan divertido a veces pasar por la iglesia eh, los domingos por la noche a ver cómo la iglesia de Shalom está celebrando y cantando y dice que si pi piensan que en la mañana acá la música está fuerte, tendrían que pasar por la noche. <laughs> But it is a blessing to be in partnership together, and it truly is a partnership. Pero la verdad que eh, es muy, muy lindo de tener este compañerismo y esto, trabajar juntos como nosotros podemos hacer. And pastors Jose and Patricia have become very good friends to me and Shannon as well, and a great support to us, and we're grateful for that. Y está muy agradecido por la amistad que él tiene con el pastor Jose y Patricia, y también por la, el apoyo que se pueden dar a cada uno. And so I wanted our congregation to hear Pastor Jose speak as we share the service together. So Pastor Jose, please come up and please welcome Pastor Jose to our platform. <laughs> <laughs> now I get to switch gears to English. <laughs> oh, I can, it's just for. ¿Cómo está familia? How's the family of God? No les escucho, creo que mi micrófono tiene poco sonido. Is his microphone working? He's. <laughs> Es un gusto estar aquí en este lugar y quiero decirle gracias al Pastor Mark por invitarnos a estar en la plataforma este día. It is such a pleasure to be here with you this morning. I especially want to thank Pastor Mark for the invitation to be able to share the message with you this morning. Yo creo que esta iglesia, la iglesia Midopar, es una iglesia de mucha bendición. He believes that this church, Meadow Park, is a church of many blessings. No solo impacta a la comunidad local, sino también globalmente. It's not only impacting the community here locally, but Meadow Park is impacting communities worldwide. Recuerdo que hace un par de años atrás, cuando llegamos a Columbus, Ohio, Meadow Park nos dio una calurosa bienvenida. Uh, was a, year, a few years back when we came to Columbus, Ohio, Meadow Park gave us a very warm welcome. Y recuerdo que cuando llegamos a este lugar, Patricia y yo, empezamos la iglesia en este cuarto de oración. Uh, when they came to Meadow Park, Patricia and Pastor um, Jose, sorry, I almost said it in Spanish. But <laughs> <Sí>. <laughs> they gathered together and started worshiping and praying in the prayer, prayer room right over here. Realmente parecía una locura porque nosotros estábamos orando por una iglesia en ese lugar. And he said, it kind of seemed a little crazy because we were praying for a church right over here in this prayer room. Y así fue como surgió la iglesia Shalom en este lugar. And that's how we started the, the church Shalom in this place. Dos personas oraron para que sucediera algo. 
two people were praying that something would happen. Y yo creo que si todos nosotros oramos, cosas grandes van a pasar. Can you imagine if every single one of us are praying the immense things that would take place? Amen. Hallelujah. Yo creo que Dios ha bendecido, bendice y seguirá bendiciendo la iglesia Middle Park. And God has blessed and he will continue to bless um, the church of Meadow Park. Amen. 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 No les escucho. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Espero que hoy digamos amen más fuerte que la siguiente semana que está el Super Bowl. Oh, <laughs> because <laughs> we, we need to be louder than you will be next week for the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Y este año es un año de mucha bendición. This year has been already a year of much blessing. Por 20 años he servido al Señor. Because it's been 20 years this year that I've been serving the Lord. Y este año. And this year. Por primera vez en mi vida. For first time in his life. Voy a estar full time en el ministerio a tiempo completo. Oh, he's going to be full time in the ministry here. Um, in full time job in ministry. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yo soñaba con hacerme rico. <laughs> he had dreams uh, at one point of becoming wealthy. De hecho que creo que la construcción me me está yendo muy bien. And he says that it, it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> Mi hijo de 14 años cuando hablé con él acerca de esto me dijo, "Papi, estás loco." <laughs> he said he was telling his 14-year-old son about this, del ministerio acá. Sí, oh. mi hijo. Yeah, his son, his 14-year-old, and he said, are you crazy, dad? Ajá. <laughs> tienes que pagar mi universidad. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Quiere que se pare acá? Sí, no, que tiene que pagar la universidad. Oh, because <laughs> he needs to start paying for university soon. Ajá. <laughs> Pero yo creo que mis intereses personales deben quedar atrás y los intereses del Señor deben ir enfrente me, de me. So he says uh, what he has to realize is that his own passions or his own interests need to be put behind and only follow the leading of God into the, the leading Dios in his life. Dios va a proveer. That, that God will provide for him. Amen. Y este año hemos sido comisionados and this year they have been commissioned por los estados de Michigan, Illinois, uh, Indiana, y Ohio, West Pennsylvania, Michigan, Illinois, by the states of Illinois, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Ohio. Y hemos sido comisionados para plantar iglesias que se multipliquen en estas áreas. They have been commissioned to plant churches in these locations to be able to spread and grow the word of the Lord. Y este es, gloria a Dios. Este es un trabajo muy especial, de alto honor. This is something super special, and it is a great honor. Pero es probable que yo tenga que irme un mes para un lugar o otro mes para otro lugar para predicar el mensaje de salvación en esos lugares. And it, it, it's going to be quite possible that he's going to have to leave a month at a time to go to some other locations to be able to preach and share the word of the Lord. Es probable que no me vaya si nosotros tenemos personas que quieran hacer ese trabajo del Señor. Um, el trabajo allá o acá. Ah, en los diferentes. Oh, lugares, and, so, and so the, the, he might not be, let me think about this. <laughs> he might not have to go if people rise up that might be able to take the lead in those locations. Pero yo creo que Dios va a enviar obreros a su obra. ¿verdad? But he's, he's willing to go, but he believes that God will send the right people to start those churches um, in those locations. Amen. ¿Alguien cree? <laughs> Do you guys believe? Somebody believe? Amen. Okay, ahora quiero hablar este mensaje de dos horas. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's about to preach for about two hours. <laughs> I'm going to need some water or something. <laughs> Ser y hacer discípulos. He wants to talk about being and making disciples. Ser y hacer discípulos es algo muy fundamental para nosotros. It's something that's very fundamental to us. ¿Por qué razón? Porque esa es... La manera como Dios quiere alcanzar al mundo. Because this is the way that God has told us to reach to the ends of the earth. Y si nosotros nos preguntamos qué es ser discípulo. And if we ask ourselves what does it mean to be a disciple. Podemos encontrar muchos conceptos acerca de eso. We can actually find a lot of different messages about that. Entonces ser, ser discípulo es ser un seguidor. So to be a disciple is to be a follower. ¿Alguien cree que ser discípulo es, es ser un seguidor? Do we believe that being a disciple is being a follower? Yes. ¿Ah? 
Okay, si es un seguidor, ¿cuántos seguidores de Jesús hay en este lugar? How many followers of Jesus do we have in here? Amén. Amén. Yo creo que muchos de los que estamos así somos más seguidores de las redes sociales que de Jesús. Oh, he says, I would, um, I would, what is it called, challenge you that maybe some of us follow other things more so than Jesus, like maybe social media or other things. <laughs> Pero ser seguidores de Jesús... Vamos a verlo de un punto de vista bíblico. Vamos a leer en el libro de Marcos, en el capítulo 1, versículo 16 al 17. Uh, being a disciple of Jesus, we want to take a look today at the biblical meaning of it, and we're going to take a look at Mark, chapter 1, uh, verses 16 through 20. Lo leeré en español. Andando junto al lago de Galilea, vio a Simón y a Andrés, hermano, que echaban la red en el mar, porque eran pescadores, y le dijo... Jesús, venid en pos de mí y os haré pescadores de hombres. Y dejando luego sus redes, le siguieron. Pasando de allí un poco más adelante, vio a Jacobo, hijo de Zebedeo, y a Juan, su hermano. También ellos estaban en la barca y remendaban las redes. Luego lo llamó y dejando, dejando a su padre Zebedeo en la barca, con los jornaderos le siguieron. Can you repeat? So we're, we're reading from Mark. This is a... Uh, Jesus' ministry in Galilee, and it was the four fishermen following Jesus. And so he's reading from Mark chapter 1, verse 16. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will make you fishers of men. At once they left their nets and followed him. When he had gone a little further, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John in a boat, preparing their nets. Without delay, he called them, and they said, they left their father Zebedee in the boat behind them with the, th with the hired men and followed Jesus. Es interesante como Jesús llamó a las personas. It's very interesting how Jesus decided to call these people. Y totalmente diferente como nosotros llamamos a las personas en este tiempo. And it's completely different in then how we will go after people nowadays. Vea, por ejemplo, si yo quiero invitar a una persona a la iglesia. So, for example, if I wanted to invite someone to come to church with me. Algunas veces los invito a comer. Sometimes I will invite them, invite them over to eat. Les invito a un café. I said, let's go get some coffee and talk. Estoy haciendo las llamadas. I'll give them a call estoy on the phone. Estoy orando por ellos. I will be praying for y them. Y los invito y a veces no vienen a la iglesia. And sometimes I will even invite them to church, but they will not come. La forma que Jesús lo hizo fue sencilla. The way that God did it was very, very simple. Él se fue, oró y ayunó. He went and he prayed. Regresó a la ciudad. He returned to the city. Miró a las personas y le dijo, sígueme. He looked at the people and said, follow me. Yo creo que esa es la manera que nosotros debemos hacer. He says, he believes that's the way that we, we should approach it. Apasionarnos realmente de ese Dios que quiere ser discípulos a las naciones. To be super passionate about our God and about making disciples to follow him. Buscarlo intencionalmente en nuestros corazones. To look for him, to look for Jesus with intention within our own hearts. Estos hombres siguieron a Jesús con pasión. These men followed Jesus with passion. Dejaron a su madre, a su padre y todos sus oficios. They left their mothers and their fathers behind. They left everything behind to Para seguir a Jesús de Nazaret. To follow Jesus of Nazareth. Entonces, ser un discípulo es ser un seguidor. So, in, in other words, to be a disciple, it does mean to be a follower. No para descubrir lo malo que ese maestro está haciendo. Not to follow them and just to point out the bad things that somebody is doing. Sino para imitar lo que él hace. But being a follower of Jesus is to imitate what Entonces, Jesus does. Entonces, ser un discípulo no solo es un, ser un seguidor. So, in other words, to be a disciple, it does not only mean to be a follower, sino también es ser una persona que está disciplinada but it also means that you are a person para a, obedecer a self-disciplined person y hacer to be able to lo do que su maestro le ha indicado que haga. and follow what Jesus is asking you to do. ¿Cuántos dicen amén a eso? Amén. Amén. Es decir, cada uno de nosotros como hijo del Señor like each one of us is a son and daughter of God como seguidores de Cristo Jesús, As followers of Jesus Christ, debemos disciplinarnos we need to be self en la vida espiritual. In our spiritual life. Porque todos queremos entrar al cielo. We all want to go to heaven. ¿O será que hay alguien que no quiere entrar al cielo? Uh, or is there anybody in here who does not want to go to heaven? ¿Hm? 
<laughs> Todos queremos ir al cielo. We all want to go to heaven. Necesitamos meternos en el partido. We need to uh, meternos donde? Entrar. Oh, we need to enter into heaven. Uh -huh. Necesitamos tratar de ver nuestra vida y ver la manera que estamos viviendo uh, respecto al evangelio de Jesús. And in order to do that, we need to really take a look at our lives and what we are doing. Uh -huh. Porque no se trata solo de saber de Jesús. Because it's not only about knowing about Jesus. Se trata de vivir lo que Jesús ha enseñado. But it is also about living the way that Jesus has taught us how to do. Nuestra vida tendrá sentido. Our lives will make sense. Cuando nosotros no solo sepamos de Jesús. When not only do we just know about Jesus. Nuestra vida tendrá sentido cuando Jesús realmente esté dentro de nosotros. But our lives will make sense when Jesus is really part of our life. Que lo veamos que se mueve realmente en nuestras vidas. When we see Jesus working and moving in each one of our lives. Dios tiene el poder para bendecir nuestras familias. Jesus, God, has the power and the ability to bless our lives and our families. Dios tiene el poder para levantar a una persona que está en bancarrota. God has the ability to raise up people who are broken. Dios tiene el poder para que que una persona adulta pueda soñar y creer que puede hacer cosas grandes en esta tierra. God has the ability to even take us older adults and give us dreams and wisdom and how to lead a godly life. Dios tiene el poder. God has the power. Pero necesitamos nosotros vivir la vida de Jesucristo. But we need to be able to live a life worthy of Jesus Christ. Cuando nosotros vemos los seguidores de Jesús, sus discípulos. When we take a look at Jesus' followers, his disciples. Él llamó un grupo pequeño de doce apóstoles o doce discípulos. He called a small group, a, a group of twelve. Además tenía otros discípulos. He had other followers. Pero este grupo pequeño de doce. But this small group of 12 hizo una gran diferencia en aquel tiempo. Those 12 made a huge, huge difference in that time. Y lo sigue haciendo hasta el día de hoy. And continue to do so even to today. Entonces creo que si nosotros vivimos el Evangelio de Jesús, vamos a hacer una gran diferencia en el Franklin County. <laughs> so if you take a look at all of us in here, if we truly, truly follow a life of Jesus Christ, we can make such an impact all over Franklin County. ¿Alguien puede decir amén? Amén. Oh, ok, dale un aplauso al Señor. <laughs> Let's clap for the Lord. Ok, no solo se trata de que yo sea un discípulo. It's not only about being a disciple. Se trata de que hagamos discípulos. But we also need to make disciples. La siguiente parte es hacer discípulos. So we need to make disciples. Not only be one, but make disciples. Es una de las cosas importantísimas que nosotros podamos multiplicarnos. It's a, one of the most important things that we can do to multiply in disciples. Yo creo que nosotros podemos hacer discípulos. I believe that we can make disciples. Veámoslo, empezando en, en, en nuestro hogar. Starting in our homes. El día de ayer me invitaron a comer. Uh, yesterday he got invited to go eat somewhere. Estaba cumpliendo años. Usted? Sí. Ah, his birthday was ayer? Sí. Eh, his birthday was yesterday, so he got invited out to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He, 25, ¿no es cierto? Sí, 25. Yeah, he turned 25. <laughs> <laughs> And up. And up. And up. Y mientras íbamos a ese restaurante. And he went to a restaurant. El restaurante era restaurante y otra cosa. Okay, the restaurant was a restaurant and something else. Mi hijo de 12 años me dijo, papi, yo no quiero entrar ahí. Ah, his 12-year-old son said, dad, I don't want to go in there. Y le dije, ¿por qué? Why? Porque ese no es un lugar para que entren los cristianos. Because that is not a place where Christians are allowed. Yo tuve que hablar con él y le dije, papi, es que nosotros vamos a estar en el área del restaurante. No, so he had to talk to him and said, but we're going to be in just one in the area of the restaurant. Y él estaba como molesto. And he was really bothered. Porque no quería entrar a ese lugar. Because he did not want to go into this restaurant. Porque es un niño. Because he is a child. Que está siguiendo los ejemplos de Jesús de Nazaret. Who is following the examples of Jesus of Nazareth. Él es un discípulo de Jesús a los 12 años. He is a disciple at the age of 12. Porque cuando nosotros hacemos discípulos, because when we make disciples, tenemos que aprender a modelar lo que el maestro nos ha enseñado. We have to be able to model what the teacher has shown us. 
Si nosotros realmente queremos alcanzar a nuestros amigos, familia o vecinos para Cristo Jesús, if we truly want to reach our friends, our neighbors on behalf of Jesus Christ, tenemos que modelar a Cristo en nuestras vidas. We have to model Jesus Christ in our own lives. Amén. Si nosotros modelamos a Cristo Jesús en nuestra vida, nuestra Amigos, las personas que nos conocen van a querer venir a conocer a ese Dios. If we truly model and represent Jesus Christ within our own lives, our friends and those around us are going to want to know who Jesus is. Quiero decirles algo, el evangelio es poderoso. I want to tell you something, the gospel is powerful. No hay nada mejor que el evangelio de Jesucristo. There is nothing better than the evangelism of Jesus Christ. Es lo mejor que le puede pasar a una persona. It's the best thing that could happen to Porque each one el evangelio cambia realmente la vida de ellos. Because that really, it will change your life. La mejor manera de ayudar a la gente no es dándole comida. The best way of helping people is not giving them food. Aunque, aunque eso es bueno. Uh, although that's good. Uh -huh. <laughs> La, la, el salvar la gente no se trata de darle ropa o zapatos. It's not only about giving people clothing or shoes. Eso es bueno y hagámoslo. And that is good and we should do that. Pero cuando la gente conoce a Jesús dentro de ellos, cambiará but, totalmente sus vidas. But if they truly know, not only their clothing, their shoes, but if they really truly know in their own individual lives who Jesus is, that will change their life. Y eso es lo que yo, eso es lo que ustedes y yo debemos hacer. And that is what you and I should be doing. Predicar el evangelio de Jesucristo. Preaching the good news of Jesus Christ. Amén. Entonces vamos a ser discípulos. So I think we should all be disciples. En una ocasión estaba Jesús de Nazaret. There was an occasion that Jesus of Nazareth. Y había un pozo. And there was a well. Y intencionalmente Cristo había llegado a ese lugar. And Jesus walked up to the well. Llegó una mujer a sacar agua de ese lugar. And a woman came to the well to, grow, to get some water. Y Jesús empezó a conversar con ella. And Jesus started up a conversation with her. Y le dijo, dame de beber. Can I, and he asked this woman, can I have something to drink? La mujer le dijo, ¿cómo tú siendo judío me pides de beber a mí? How can you ask me for something to drink? Why are you even talking to me? The woman said. Jesucristo le dijo, si tú me conocieras. The, uh, the Jesus said, if you really truly knew me, Tú me pedirías a mí de beber. you would be asking y yo te me daría del for agua de vida to drink eterna. and I would give you from the waters of life. How are you going to get water if you don't even have a bucket or anything to reach down into the well to get some water? ¿Cómo me vas a dar del agua de vida eterna? How are you going to give me waters of eternal life? La conversación siguió. The conversation continued. Y Jesús impactó su vida. And Jesus impacted her life. Porque le dijo cosas que nadie podía decírselas. Because Jesus was telling her things that no one else would Porque be no able to say to her. Porque no hay nadie que conozca nuestro corazón y nuestras vidas como Dios lo conoce. Because there was no one who knew our hearts or her heart the way that Jesus did and was sharing things with her that nobody else would know. Y esta mujer cambió. And this woman changed. Dejó su cántaro. She left her things. Corrió a Samaria. She ran to uh, Samaria. Y empezó a hablar de Jesús de Nazaret. And he, she started talking and empezó sharing about Jesus. Empezó a decir lo que Dios había hecho en su vida. And she was sharing about what Jesus had told her and had done in her own life. Le dijo que él le quería ofrecer del agua de vida eterna. She said he wanted to offer me water of living life. Y dice la Biblia. And the Bible says que muchas personas vinieron a Jesús. that many people converted because of what this woman was saying. And it wasn't only because of what she was saying, it was because of the things that Jesus was doing and saying. Noticen que esta mujer samaritana Notice that this Samaritan woman no fue a un instituto bíblico. Was not, she did not run to like a biblical institution. No tenía teología. She did not know the theology. No era graduada de la universidad. She, she wasn't a graduate of a university. No tenía años de ser cristiana. She wasn't, um, wasn't a Christian for years. Tenía poco tiempo de haber estado con Jesús. She had very little time of just meeting with Jesus. Y hizo una gran diferencia traer gente para Jesús. And that moment made a huge difference in her life in bringing people to know Jesus. Algunos de nosotros hemos hemos estancado el trabajo de hacer discípulos. And some of us are kind of resistant of being uh, doing the work of disciples. Algunas veces porque no somos tan buenos cristianos como yo. Sometimes we don't think we're good enough of a Christian. Like me. Como nosotros, like me. 
Algunas veces porque no sabemos hablar la palabra del Señor. Sometimes maybe we're not uh, super refined in how we're talking about theology or biblical knowledge. O a, a lo mejor algunas veces porque estoy tan preparado y quiero hablarle a muchos y no a pocos. And sometimes because maybe I'm a little bit too, um, my ego's too big and I don't want to just talk to a few, I want to talk to a big crowd. Pero si nosotros queremos alcanzar a las personas but para we, Jesús, but if we truly want to reach people for Jesus, no tenemos que inventar ningún mensaje. We don't have to come up with a message. We don't have to come up with excuses. Es bien fácil. It's actually pretty ya easy. Ya está escrito el mensaje de salvación. What you should share has been already written. Solo digamos lo que ya está dicho. So we only we only need to share what we already know. Solo prediquemos lo que ya está predicado. We should preach what's already been preached. Porque Jesús quiere salvar a todo mundo. Because Jesus wants to uh, save the entire world. Alguien puede decir amén a eso? Amén. Amén. Jesús quiere salvar a las personas. Jesus wants to save people. Y tenemos que enamorarnos de Jesús. And we need to fall in love with Jesus. Como discípulos de Cristo, enamorémonos de Jesús. And we need to fall in love with being a como disciple Jesús of Jesus quiere Christ. que vivamos. We need to live our lives how Jesus wants us to live our lives. Emocionémonos que Jesús está en nuestras vidas. We need to love and accept that Jesus is part of our life. Y aunque nuestra vida no esté bien recta. And even though our life may not always be easy. No importa, Jesús está aquí para decirte. It doesn't matter because Jesus will be with you. Que Él tiene un plan para tu vida y seguirá obrando en tu vida. And He wants to tell you that He has a plan for your life and He will continue working in your life. Él ha empezado una obra en usted y Él la va a concluir. He has started a work in you and He will finish it. Alguien dice amén. Amén. Dale un aplauso al Señor. <laughs> Aleluya. Él ha empezado una obra en nosotros. He has started a work in each one of us. Y, y Dios ha visto a usted personalmente para que haga algo grande en esta tierra. And God sees you individually and he sees and knows what you can do. ¿Alguien cree eso? Amén. And you ever believe that? Mi vida ha sido sacudida muchas veces. His, he said his life has been shaken many times. Yo estudié para ser sacerdote en la iglesia católica. He originally wanted to be, um, he was studying to be a priest in the Catholic Church. Yo quería ser padre. He wanted to be a priest. Yo estudié. He studied. Me convertí en enemigo de los cristianos. And he, in some ways, became an enemy of the Christians. Muchas veces yo quería pelear con ellos. And many times he wanted to argue and fight with Christians. Yo quería hacerles daño. Yo quería hacerles daño. Oh, sometimes I actually wanted it to harm them. Con palabras, por supuesto. With words, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no me gustaban. He's like, I really didn't like them. Y Dios cambió el rumbo de mi vida. And God completely changed the, his, the direction of his life. Yo no fui un sacerdote en esa religión. Because I did not become a priest. Dios me salvó y me convirtió en un pastor. God took, saved me and decided this is what I have in store for you and he became a pastor. Y las personas que yo odiaba y que yo buscaba para pelear and the people that I did not like and that I was looking to fight empecé a amarlas. I started to love them. Y empecé a buscar a otros para que se unieran a este movimiento del Espíritu de Dios. And I started to look for other people to love and to join me to, to move in this spiritual journey with me. Porque no se trata de lo que nosotros tenemos pensado, sino lo que Dios quiere para nuestra vida. Because it really is not about what we want, but it's about what God has in store for our lives. Y entonces pasó mucho tiempo. So a lot of time went by. Yo estudié administración I de empresas. He actually did study about uh, business. Y yo me miraba dando clases en la universidad. And uh, he was at one point thinking, you know, maybe I'll become es, a teacher, a professor. Eso era lo que yo quería. And that's what he was thinking he would do. Y vine a los Estados Unidos. And so he came to the United States. Cambió totalmente eso. And everything changed once again. Yeah, todo totalmente. El año pasado yo me sentía orgulloso de postear videos haciendo mis trabajos. Uh, last year he was feeling very proud of what he has been able to accomplish. Y yo tenía un porcentaje de dinero que yo quería hacer y retirarme. Uh, he had a goal of how much money he wanted to make when he was able to retire. Y me llamaron a mí para hacer un trabajo full time en la iglesia. Y... Um, they called him to be a full-time worker in the church. So it was another time where he himself had these plans, and then God said, you know what? I have something else in mind. Y quiero regresar a esos tiempos. And I want to go back. A esos tiempos donde hay, vemos personas y queremos hablarle de Jesús. 
I want to go back to all those people that I saw that I never talked to about Jesus. Y cuando las personas reciben Jesús, a Jesús queremos hacer los líderes. ¿Quién quiere ser líderes? A los que vienen a Jesús. And he wants to turn leaders, he wants to turn disciples and leaders in the church for Jesus. Y a los líderes comisionarlos a que vayan y extiendan el evangelio por diferentes lugares. And all those leaders to commission them to go to different places to share the word of Jesus. Entonces, ¿qué podemos esperar para hacer la, el para para hacer lo que Dios quiere que hagamos? So what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for in in uh, in doing what God is asking us to do? Lo que necesitamos es sencillamente hacer el trabajo que Dios quiere que se haga. What are we waiting for? All we really need to do quite easily is do what God is telling you to do. Hágalo donde usted está. Si usted es doctor, desde allí hágalo. And so if you're a doctor, do it. Si usted es maestro, hágalo. If you're a teacher, do it. No dentro de la, no dentro de la escuela porque lo corre. Of course not inside of the school, but if you're a teacher, you can still share the message outside of school. Pero hágalo donde usted se mueva. But do it wherever you are. Hagámoslo. We have to do it. Diga conmigo, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it. Diga no ¿eh? <laughs> Más fuerte, let's do it. Louder, let's do louder, it. Let's do it. <laughs> fuerte, más fuerte. Más fuerte means louder. Louder. <laughs> más fuerte. <laughs> Hagámoslo. We have to do it. Hagámoslo. El Franklin County nos necesita. This is Franklin County needs us. Nos necesita. They need us. Está sucediendo una remodelación de, de este edificio tan bello. Now, we're looking to do a remodeling of this beautiful building. Este edificio no solo es para que vengamos a sentarnos nosotros. This building is not just for us to be in it. Necesita que vengan todas las comunidades aquí a este lugar. But we need to invite people from other communities to join us. Necesitamos salvar a nuestros vecinos. Aleluya. We need to be able to invite our neighbors. ¿Alguien dice amén? Hagámoslo. Let's do it. Hagámoslo. Diga el que está a su lado. Hagámoslo. Let's do it. <laughs> Hagámoslo. Hagámoslo en el nombre de Jesús. <laughs> ¿Creen que es posible? Do you think it's possible? Yeah, it's possible. We can do it. We can okay? do it. Hagámoslo en el nombre del Señor. Hace un siglo en los Estados Unidos, hace 100 años. As, uh, so it's about 100 years ago here in the United States. Hubo un mover de salvación muy grande. There was a movement of salvation, a large movement of salvation. Miles de iglesias se plantaron. Thousands of churches were started. Miles de, de, de personas se salvaron. Thousands of people were saved. Pero en este tiempo, but nowadays, cientos de iglesias han muerto. But he has, he feels that a lot of those churches are dying. Muchos cristianos ya nunca volvieron a la iglesia. A lot of Christians who left the church have not returned. Especialmente después del COVID. It's especially after the last few years with COVID. Y algunos nunca volverán. And the fear is that some will never come back. Ese mover de salvación de hace 100 años en los Estados Unidos that movement from 100 years ago salvó a México. Saved Mexico. Se extendió a Centroamérica. Because they sent many missionaries Se and many people down to Central Sur America. America. South America. Al mundo entero. So there's a movement throughout the whole world to save. Pero ahora necesitamos que eso reviva más fuerte. But we need to do that again and we need a revival, a stronger revival. Porque hay una escasez del conocimiento de Jesús en nuestra nación. Because he says there is a... a um, Like, there's a need for the knowledge of Jesus Christ in our nation. Porque están prohibiendo que se hable de Jesús. Because many places around the world, even here, are prohibiting the, that we speak about Jesus. Creo que hace seis o siete años aquí en Columbus, Ohio. He thinks it was about six or seven years ago here in Columbus. El elementary school, una de las escuelas de mis hijos. And one of the schools of, uh, elementary schools of his uh, children. Me invitaron para que fuera eh, eh, uh, asesor de escuela para padres. Uh, they invited him to come as a parent to one of the parent meetings. Y, y yo dije, me pareció bonito enseñar a los padres. And so he thought, he thought, yeah, I should go. It'd be really nice to, to see what's going on. La principal me dijo, estoy agradecido que venga a ayudar. Uh, the principal greeted him and said, I am so thankful that you Me came to our school to help. A los I'm happy to meet with the parents. Pero usted tiene de Dios de la But you are not allowed to talk about Jesus inside of our school. La principal me dijo una vez más, no puede hablar de Dios dentro de la escuela. So the principal approached him and warned him one more time, just remember, you're not allowed to talk about Jesus Christ in our school. 
Ese año hicieron la graduación en el edificio de la iglesia. La graduación del, del fin de, de año escolar fueron a la, a la iglesia. Oh. A hacerla. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that year they did a special graduation and they did the graduation in the church. Pero ella estaba prohibiéndome que yo hablara de Jesús en la misma escuela. But she's the one who was talking to me about prohibiting talking about Jesus in the school. Y yo le dije a ella. And I said to her. Es imposible. That's impossible. Tal vez yo no pueda hablar con mi boca. Capaz, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I can't do it in actual words. Pero con, con, mi, con, con mi vida voy a hablar de Jesús. But how I live my life, how I lead my life, that's how I'll be speaking about Jesus. Yo soy un pastor. He's, he's a pastor. I am a pastor. <laughs> y están ocurriendo cosas grandes. And he is planning big things. Que están sirviendo de stock para que se siga avanzando el evangelio. And they are to help to advance the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yo me siento muy triste por eso. Okay. I am sad when I am not allowed to talk about Porque cuando están prohibiendo que hablen de Dios dentro de estas dentro de estas escuelas. Because when they're prohibiting to talk about Jesus in schools or other places. Están permitiendo cosas más graves dentro de ellas. They're allowing other things more um, dire to happen within the school. No puedo hablar de Jesús dentro de ellas. I can't talk about Jesus. Pero hay niños de otras religiones. But there are other religions que se postran en los pasillos, that are able to, en las aulas, to be in the hallways, en los corredores, in the classrooms, throughout the building. Para orar a un Dios incapaz de salvarlos. And students are being allowed to pray for other gods within the school building uh, who, are, who is not able to save them. Nosotros tenemos un Dios vivo y todopoderoso. We have a very alive and powerful God. Que necesitamos anunciar en esta ciudad. That we need to not only share but announce of him and tell Necesitamos people. que todos nosotros hagamos más discípulos para el Señor. All of us are called to make more disciples for Jesus Christ. Y quiero terminar con esto. And I want to finish. Quiero terminar con esto. En la región de Turquía. He wants to uh, share that in the region of Turkey. En esa región donde hubo el mover más glorioso de los hechos de los apóstoles. Uh, the apostles had done a huge movement. Allí donde hubieron milagros de ellos. Miracles were happening in that region. Miles de salvaciones. Thousands of salvations were taking place. El día de hoy. But that was then. Nowadays. El 99.98%. 99.98% of the population in Turkey. Profesan otras religiones profess a different God. Solo el 0.01% only 0.01 or 2% are evangelico. Christians in the area of Turkey nowadays. Es un lamento. It's really a, a shame. It's sad. Porque donde hubo una gran gloria, Because where at one time there was a huge glory lo único que hay ahí es historia. Now that all it is is just history. Si usted lee los hechos de los apóstoles, va a ver ese mover glorioso. So if you read about the apostles, you, you will read about this. ¿Qué vamos a hacer nosotros? What are we going to do about that? ¿Vamos a dejar que siga muriendo el evangelio? We can't continue making uh, Jesus Christ, the gospel, just history. O le vamos a decir a Jesús, úsame a mí. We got to tell Jesus, use me, take me, have me where I am. Para predicar tu palabra en este lugar. So we can share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yo creo que todos nosotros I think that all of us deberíamos de tener un sueño. We should dream a dream. Seguir fielmente a Jesús. To faithfully follow Jesus Christ. Y llamar a otros para que sigan a Jesús de Nazaret. And call others to follow Jesus Christ. Nosotros hacemos muchas cosas bellas. We do a lot, a lot of good things. Baby showers. Baby showers. <laughs> We share, you know, many things. Parties. Parties, fiestas. Fiestas. Trick. Viajes. We go on trips and... Viajes. Viajes. Más viajes. Vamos y damos cosas a los necesitados. We, we donate things to those in need. Nos reunimos para jugar. We get together to just celebrate and play. Hacemos muchas reuniones maravillosas. We do and plan many wonderful things. Dentro de la iglesia. Inside of the church. 
Pero este día quiero decirte algo. But today I want to tell you. Necesitamos ir afuera. We need to go outside. Allá está la gente que necesita de Dios. Outside of the church are the people that need God. Allá hay personas que están esperando a Jesús de Nazaret. Outside of the church are people waiting to get to know and meet Jesus of Nazareth. Hay matrimonios que están quebrantados. There are marriages that are breaking. Hay hombres que lo dejó su mujer. Are you know, men who have left their families. Hay mujeres que lo dejó su marido. Are women who left their husbands or families. Hay personas que están sufriendo. There are people who are suffering. Eso no se resuelve con dinero. Those are not. Ellos uh, van a resolver su vida con Jesús de Nazaret. They need to know Jesus and uh, resolve, fix their lives with Jesus. Ellos necesitan el evangelio de Cristo Jesús. But they need someone to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Entonces vamos y hagamos discípulos. And that's what we're called to do, to go out and make disciples. ¿Creen que podemos hacerlo? Do you think that we can do that? Amen. Levante Amen. su mano derecha si podemos hacer discípulos. So raise your right hand if you think you can make disciples. Vamos a comprometernos en el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret. We are going to make a promise to Jesus. Vamos a comprometernos con ese Dios maravilloso. We're going to make a promise, a partnership with a Jesus. A vivir el evangelio. To share the gospel. Y a enseñar ese evangelio que nosotros vivimos. And to teach about that gospel that we ourselves are living. Yo estoy comprometido para hacerlo. I am willing to do that. Hagámoslo nosotros también. We should do it all. Amén. Amen. Pastor Marcos, vamos a orar. We're going to pray. Let's bow our heads in prayer. I just want you to take a few moments of silence just to reflect on what Pastor Jose has shared. I want you to think about where do you spend your days? Think about your home. Think about your schools. Think about your places of work. What images, what people are coming to mind? What faces do you see that need to know Jesus Christ? Think about your neighbors, teammates, book club, Get together with the guys that you do when you go golfing or hanging out. Who are these faces that God is putting in your mind? Heavenly Father, I just thank you for the passionate declaration of your word today from Pastor Jose that just reminds us, God, that, that you have called us first of all, to be disciples, to follow you, and just the simplicity of just walking in that way. But God, not just, not just to um, say that we believe, God, but to show that each and every day in our lives and to live that out. Father, this world is uh, putting so much pressure on us to silence the truth, to silence our faith, to silence the hope that we have, to push us into the corners, to, to just be and not say much. Father, help us to find those moments and those times where we can not only live out our faith, but God, to speak it out, to share the hope, to share the truth with those around us. Father, give us courage, give us boldness, not in some kind of abrasive way or confrontational way, but God, just in a, in a way that speaks of a transformed life in us, that we share your goodness and what you've done in our lives with those around us. Again, God, give us that courage, that boldness to open our mouth, to declare your truth and your love, to invite others into our lives and into our church. Father, it is such a joy and a privilege to follow you, to have hope, to have peace, to have forgiveness, to live in truth. And God, we want others to know that as well. Lord, I thank you for the privilege it is to serve together with Iglesia Shalom and just that God, it takes all of us and more of us and not just our churches, but the churches across the city and around this world, God, to declare your truth. May we do our part here in this place and in the places that you have called us. We love you, Lord, and we give you thanks. And together we say, let's do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.